What's up, Amazon Survivors? This is KJ4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Green Hell. I've just been doing some work off camera. I slept through the night, and I got up, and my stats weren't looking too good. I ate, I drank. I'm good to go, man. I absolutely adore this freaking planting thing. This is... Ugh. This is so freaking dope. Oh, my God. Um, one thing I do want to talk about, though. Uh, what can I grow in the small planting box that matters? Because I'm thinking about getting rid of this altogether. I don't know what I can grow in here that I really care that much about. Um, and I would like another big growing plot. Um, so, I mean, I could put a big growing plot right here. But then it would be kind of awkward to have two big growing plots, a small one, and a big one. Um, I could remake this. The problem is to remake this. It would be pretty expensive because those boards are hard to get. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I'm kind of up in the air. Why do I need another big growing plot? Well, because I want to grow wood. Um, I really need wood. And the reason I need wood is because if you look over here, I went ahead and made a... Whatever this thing is called. I forget what it's called. Let me show you what it's called. All right, we're going to hold down this. It's called the Mud Charcoal Furnace. And the thing that's freaking cool about this is it takes a lot of wood, but you will get three... Uh, what's it called? You'll get three of the um, of the stuff you need to put in here. I have some in my inventory. Let me take a look. You will get three campfire ash out of it. And I don't think you use the amount of wood. Like, normally in order to get campfire ash, you have to make a campfire and let it burn out. I think this uses less wood for what it would take to build three campfires. At least I assume it does. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, so I'm just going to assume it does. So we're going to go ahead and light this bad boy up. And uh, I think today we're going to start building. We're going to start building the main base. I think people want to see building, and I want to start building, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So you just put that in there, and when that's done, we'll get a lot of uh, campfire ash and also charcoal, which would be uh, pretty cool. Um, I, By the way, I've been clear clearing this place out, and I absolutely am in love with this thing and the growing plot and the drying rack. Honestly, growing these growing plots for bananas, the drying rack, and this thing... Boom! Food and drink is taken care of, and now I can start doing what I really love, and that is building. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this place out. I don't think I'm actually going to need a lot of mud. Um, so, there we go. I, don't, I actually don't think I'm going to need a lot of mud uh, for today's build, because it's going to be like the, you know, the outside structures, like the skeleton um, structure. Oh my god, I don't have any freaking rope. Um, so, I don't think we need mud that much, but I do want to start stockpiling mud, because, you know... Mud is... We're going to need a lot of mud. Like, no joke. And I'm going to figure out how I want to make this thing. I think I'm going to make, like, a long entrance hall that's going to go out to two wings. One wing on the left, one wing on the right, and we'll just kind of go from there. And there's one thing in the building menu that I don't quite like that I think I'm going to stay away from. And that is... Where are they? Yeah, these things right here. These sheds. Now, I don't know if they fix these, but these sheds have always been a pain in the ass. Um, so I might use one for my bedroom, but I'm going to use them very sparingly and probably not much at all. I don't like these. Um, they're just, they're a pain in the ass. Uh, they just, <laughs> again, unless they fix them, which could be the case. I haven't played this game in a while, but, um, when I used to play it, it was kind of a, just annoyance, those things. They just never worked right. Um, so I will, uh, try not to do that. Try not to use those too much, but let me go ahead and, uh, gather a bunch of materials and then we're going to get building. All right. That's a nice cleared area. And I've been beginning some bamboo. Not too much, but I'm going to get more. Um, I just wanted to bring to you guys' attention. One of you guys in the comment section told me that if you cut the small bamboo trees with a stone blade, or I guess any kind of blade, um, you won't get the small sticks. Now, as far as I can tell, these small bamboo sticks are kind of useless. I'm going to leave them there just in case there's something I could do with them. But I don't think there is. I'm kind of like want to destroy them. Um, but I'm not going to until I know for sure that they're useless. I'll do some research on it. If you guys want to tell me if there's any use for them, that would be great. All right, but what you do is you go ahead and use the the blade right here. And if you break it down, you don't get those small sticks. You just get the five uh, big sticks, which is what I really want. So that is freaking phenomenal. Thank you very much for that tip. That is just a wonderful tip. Oh, my stupid... Trees are always getting in the way. Now, there should be five. If you don't see the fifth, keep looking. There's always five. So that is wonderful. We're going to need a lot of these things. We're going to need a lot of these things. Now, one thing I wasn't thinking about when I was uh, considering my build is that I can build up now. Um, but I have no idea how the building up works. I think it's just the ladder, but I don't know for sure. We're going to kind of experiment a little bit here. Um, normally, I would have used this whole area. But since I can build up, I don't have to. Um, so I could put like some kind of outside area, maybe for, I don't know. I don't know what I would put on the outside area. Normally, I'd put like 
some of this stuff in here. I'm thinking maybe some boxes. I don't really want to remake this stuff. Um, although I could remake some of it. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about how I want to do that. Uh, but I would like some kind of outside porch type area. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I will be uh, playing that out in my brain as I collect bamboo. All right, guys. I'm thinking about a 7x7 seven seven would be pretty freaking cool. Okay. Um, basically, this thing's going to have three floors. The first floor is going to be... Uh, well, it's going to have th three, four separate places. It's going to have a porch where I'm going to put weapon racks, stick log, stick logs, stick holders. Uh, sorry, stick holders, log holders, and probably a couple things of storage, all right? I'm also going to need a farm, and I've decided I'm going to need six big plots, um, two for banana trees, two for wood items, two for bamboo items, and then two small ones, one for tobacco and one for mullinaria. Okay, and then I'm going to have the first floor of the base is going to be cooking and food storage, and I'm not really sure what else I could put in there, but the second one's going to be, um, it's going to be like my bedroom and a fireplace and maybe like a little, uh, deck or something. Um, I think 7 by 7 might be a little bit big. Uh, maybe I'll go 5x5. Five five. I think a 5x5 five five will work with the farm on the roof. The thing is, the farm on the roof is what I'm really concerned about. Um, but first of all, let's just go ahead and start ourselves a porch. Okay, so I'm trying to decide how I want to build this. I think um, oh, it's going to be square, so it doesn't really matter which side we start at. Um, but I'm thinking right here might be good. I think we're going to have to go to 5x5. Five five. I think 7x7 seven is going to be too big. Um, do you want to start right here and go this way? I think right here and going this way probably has the most promise. Or here and go this way. All right, we just have to kind of make a decision at this point. So let's just start putting down stuff and see where we go. Um, now, in order to build more, we have to uh, build the items we've already put down. So I won't know. Like basically, what what, what we could do is we can snap um, future bamboo structures to other bamboo structures, like these little uh, frames. But the thing is, they have to be complete before you could do that. So it, you know, if it doesn't work out, you know, it puts us a little bit behind. But um, that's all right. We'll be all right. Let's go ahead and take two of these. And put it in there. I don't really like the, the way this porch is already set up. Uh, because it's on a little bit of an angle. But I don't really know if that's going to be avoidable. Um, to be perfectly honest with you. And you can put it a little... First of all, let's see if we get the thing... Okay, so we do get the log back. So that's nice. Alright, so let's, um, let's go ahead and put another one down. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a little bit short no matter where we put it over here for some reason. Um, but that is okay. You know what we should do? We should just build it on the corner... Like this, and then, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to build this right here, and then we're going to go to the right. I think that might be a better setup. And then go to the right. That way we're at the corner, and that will be easier. Um, I think I'm going to go with 5x5. Five five. We need to stay somewhat realistic for this build. So 7x7 seven seven was my ideal thing, but, you know, back when I back when I built these back in the past, you could do that trick where you could, like, put everything in your crafting window and walk it all over here. So, you know, it's a little bit easier to build bigger back then. <laughs> Not so much anymore. So I'm going to try and keep myself somewhat, um, you know, grounded. And uh, that way we get the build actually done. <laughs> Otherwise, nothing gets finished. All right, so there we go. In this game, I don't think the developers want you building super big structures. Um, I, think they, I think they even said that, like... You know, you're not supposed to be building these super big structures, but I'm going to build a big structure anyway. It's just, you know, just how big, right? So we're going to go ahead and put that right there. Let's put this one back down here. Uh, wood frame. Oh, really? Already? Really? I feel like there's something on the ground probably in the way. I don't see any reason I can't put that there. Um, that is kind of odd. And I could put it there. That doesn't make any sense. I feel like there's something on the ground here. But I'm not seeing anything. Oh, the stick. Watch. It'll go down now. Or not. Oh boy, that's um that's kind of odd. Alright, so I moved I moved it back into the middle, and we're gonna kinda go from the middle. And honestly, if this doesn't become a five by five, then I'm just gonna have to deal with it because otherwise, like, I'm never gonna get these videos made. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just simply too time consuming. Game's already grindy as it is. I don't need to, um, you know, I just, I can't be, I, I gotta go with the flow. You know, let's go with what the game gives us and see what we can get done and just kind of go with the flow. That's the only thing we're gonna do. Um, you know, I keep wanting to make these things perfect and I just have to realize that that's not gonna be the case. And it doesn't need to be. I think it's gonna be a dope build anyway. Dope, bro. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right, so we got a bunch of these logs. We should have enough sticks to make all of these things that we can see where we can go with the build after that. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of logs. I um Enough logs, anyway. Um, I actually had some of the um, natives causing issues. I didn't see them, but I heard them singing. So that's, um, that's a headache I really don't need right now. <laughs> I've heard they're kind of a pain in the ass, so we might have to start setting up some defensive traps. As far as I know, for people, there's two defensive traps you can use. You can use the... Um, you can use the uh, uh, the regular spikes. They're just like spikes on the ground. Or there's like a bow trap. I kind of want to check out the bow trap. That could be pretty cool. So we'll have to kind of see how that goes. There we go. And you can just go in there. We're not going to have to finish those, but that is okay. I just want to finish these ones on the side. What the hell is this? Jet plane landing on my freaking street? Jesus. That's freaking loud, man. I don't even know what that is because that's, um, that must be a septic truck or something because like garbage isn't today <laughs> so anytime i hear a big truck out there my my you know in real life i'm talking about obviously my first instinct is oh my god i forgot to put out the garbage but now i don't know what it is it's freaking loud man he's to shut the hell up I'm trying to make videos here bro all right so let's go ahead and put these down and um hopefully we'll be able to build out a little bit more we'll just kind of go with the flow the hell with it you know so that's what i'm talking about uh, there, 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 and there, and there. Okay. Now, let's see where we can build out from here. Okay, beautiful. All right, so that's three, four, five. Okay, so that's good wide. So we are good on the wide side, bro. All right. Yeah. And then the three right here will be the porch. These outside ones might be... This might be the porch, too. I'm, I haven't really decided yet. Um, but what I was thinking was making this like an indoor part, making the other part an indoor part, and then make the porch kind of in. I also wanted the porch to be um, to be too deep, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I think one deep will be okay for the porch, and I'll, I will make it work. Um, okay, so can I not put that there because it's got an unfinished product next to it? Or what? That is the question. We need to find that out, like, ASAP. I'm supposed to hit Q to cancel that, by the way. I always forget that. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, go grab some more materials. I'm going to save the game, and we're just going to kind of build what we got here. Nah, I'm not going to save the game. Nah, screw that. Uh, the only way I'm going to save the game is if I hear the uh, um, the natives, like, singing their, their war dance. Then, <laughs> then I, could, I could be in a bit of a, of, a, of a bind at that point. Let's see if we caught any meat. We did. Beautiful. All right. Man, I freaking love the dry rack. The mud, water, theme, Bob, and the growing plots. It is just wonderful. Um, I do like the fact that, like, food is something you have to pay attention to in these games. But I feel like once you get built up, it shouldn't be, like, a, like a nuisance. You know what I mean? I feel, like, I feel like food in a lot of these games is a nuisance. And um, while, I do, while I do think food is important and it's something you got to pay attention to and, you know, work towards and everything, I don't think it should be, like, a constant thing for the entire game. I think that should be kind of, like, early to mid-game problems. You know, I'm, I'm looking at you seven days to die. <laughs> uh, seven days to die does it well, though. So I got no I got no beef with seven days to die. All right, I'm not going to eat right now because I am dirty. Um, I wonder if drinking can get you uh, sick. Hmm, I don't know. It's a good question. All right. So we're coming out here for first of all, let's be quiet and listen. All right, sounds like it's okay. We're coming out here for small sticks, so we will be using our knife. Remember I told you uh, at the beginning of this episode? Boy, it, it shows you how long it's taken me to make this episode that I, I thought that I told you about that stick, you know, um, bone blade trick last episode. <laughs> uh, I enjoy this game, though. I really do. Um, I don't really mind the grind. Um, it's just like... I wish more people watched. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to make the best videos I can so people watch because um, I really want people to watch this game because it's so freaking good. All right, so let's see what we got here. There we go. And one, and one, and do we have enough? We do. All right, now is the moment of truth. Okay, it was because that wasn't finished. All right, very good. Very good, guys. I think it's looking good at this point. And guess who is allowed to eat now? Let's see what kind of food we need. Oh, we basically need everything. All right, eat. 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 
eat. And now we need some water. Should dump my head in the water trough there. <laughs> oh, God, we still need meat. Okay. Oh, we need fats. I don't think that rattlesnake had any fat in it. And uh, we got a problem here because I actually cut down all the trees in the area that give those unknown nuts. Uh, but I could always make bone soup if I need to. So that's great. All right, how are we looking now? Yeah, we still need fat, man. Hmm. Yeah, the, the unknown nuts were a lot easier than the bone soup, though. Oh, by the way, check this out. There you go. Look at all that charcoal and all that good stuff in there. There's some, um, there's a bunch of campfire ash in there. That's wonderful. I'm just going to leave it there, though. That's not what I'm going to be messing with today. We need some more. We need a lot of stuff. <laughs> we need a lot of stuff. Let's go gather a bunch of crap. I just don't want to hear. That's what I don't want to hear. If you hear that, it's like a pit in my stomach. I should be able to sing with them, and then they'll think I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. You know, he knows our he knows our our war dance song. Maybe we won't um kill him and eat him. Are these guys cannibals, or is there is, is there any like? I know you guys. I know there's a storyline to this game. I'm not really a, a big storyline guy though. So have you guys been playing the storyline? Are they cannibals? Or are they just, you know, just regular old natives? You know, just regular old people just trying to trying to make their way in the world. And here I am building a big freaking resort on their land. I, I don't think they appreciate that. What's up, Piggy? All right, we should just drop this here because it's closer. hoop a doop a doo doop a doo doop a doo doop a doo Somebody needs to write a song for that. Need to think of a song for that. Okay, so now we're going to grab some of these big suckers. And uh, we're still going to need a lot of rope and everything. Come on. There you go. Now you get three of those per per big tree. Three of those logs. So you just chop down one tree, bring the logs back. What I was doing was I was chopping down the um, I was chopping down the one tree. And then I would chop down another tree. Just start chopping down lots of trees. And I was losing um, focus on how many logs I had in the area. So. There we go. Get rid of all this stuff. Stupid Mother Nature. Get out of here, Mother Nature. Cage gots to build. Oh, by the way, I did some uh, research on the axes, and the stone axe is pretty much the best. Um, at least in the research uh, thread on on Steam I watched. Um, they said it's pretty much the best. It's, like, it's actually like the same as uh, even the obsidian, so I don't really know if that's old information. I don't know if it's changed since then. I didn't look at the date of the, of the post. But someone did some research and found out that, like, um, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, I was looking at the bone. Uh, I was looking at the bone axe because, you know, that'd be pretty easy to make. I usually have a lot of bones. Um, it's usually get bones and stone, honestly. Uh, but he, the bone one actually takes more swings. So, there you go. And as you get better, it'll take less and less swings anyway. But, yeah. It's kind of weird. The obs obsidian's pretty rare. So, where'd that last one go? Wait, what? Am I only holding one? No, I'm holding two. Where'd that last freaking thing go? Come on, damn it. Stupid trees. Might be in this bush somewhere. I don't see it. It would normally be glowing by now. I don't know where it went. Oh, that, that sucks, dude. Do they only drop two sometimes? I don't know. Either I'm missing it or sometimes they only drop two. That's a freaking bummer, man. That's a bummer. Yeah, this is definitely going to only going to be a 5x5. Five five, that's damn sure. Honestly, a 5x5 five five might be a little big. Also, a problem we're going to have is the freaking snake will probably end up spawning inside our base. But whatever. We'll figure it out. I mean, what am I supposed to make? A 3x3? Three three? I guess I could make a 3x3. Three three. I kind of want to keep it... I kind of want to keep it smaller. A 3x3 three three is not going to be enough room on the, on the, um, on the roof for the amount of uh, farms I want to put in. So what I could do is not put a farm on the roof, make a three by three, and then just put the farm out here. You know, I could probably do that. It'd be a lot. It'd be a lot easier on the um. Yeah, do I really need that much room? Let me think about it. Now nah, you know what? Screw that. I'm going to five by five. Go with your gut. I think it'll look pretty dope with the um, with the. Uh, boy, that looked like a bunch of snakes. <laughs> That's a bunch of cordage, by the way. I put down a bunch of rope. Um, yeah, I think it looked pretty dope with the uh. With the, with the farm on the roof. It makes sense, too. Uh, the only other thing I was thinking about was making, like, a little outside porch area. Like, in the back. 
and maybe putting the farm out there. That'd be pretty cool too, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know if 3x3 three three is going to be okay for me. I just feel like kind of cramped. The thing is, it's not going to be a 5x5. Five five. It's going to be a 5x5x2. Five five um, yeah, a 5x5x2 five 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 ain't that bad. That's right. I'm not going to have three full floors. I'm going to have two floors, and then the, and then the crops are going to be on the roof. So that should be, you know, that should be fine. It's not going to be that bad. It's just it's going to be a lot of bamboo, and it's going to be even more... Um, it's going to be even more mud if, uh, yeah, I think if I get time, I might actually stream this over the weekend. I will try and find time for that. It's kind of hard though. Cause I also have to stream seven days to die and, you know, stream, you know, whatever. Um, I have to decide if I'm going to keep doing space engineers cause the views are absolutely horrendous. Um, you know, I don't really talk about a different game while I'm, uh, playing one game, but I will talk a little bit about Space Engineers. Um, the views on it are, are really, really bad compared to everything else. Um, and I, I honestly wouldn't mind too much about that. Uh, the problem is, Space Engineers also takes hours to make. You think this game takes a long time to make videos? Space Engineers takes a lot of time to make videos. There's a lot of things to learn. There's a lot of, like, not so much grinding, but, I don't know, there's a lot of time taken up by doing stuff in that game. And, um, if I'm going to spend three hours on a video, I have to get views. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I should probably put these down out here, shouldn't I? There we go. Let's see if we can pick that up. Oh, that's unknown herb. I thought that was tobacco. I want One of the um, small crops I'm going to plant is tobacco. Um, so then if I could start uh, banging out, you know, um, what are they called? Tobacco dressing, I guess. Well, I have one. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, tobacco dressing. If I can start banging out tobacco, tobacco dressing, then I won't have to worry so much about um, being poisoned. I also need to make armor. Now that I'm hearing the, um, uh, the uh, I almost call them the infected. Now that I'm hearing the natives, um, I need to get some armor made. I think bone armor should be pretty decent for now. Armadillo armor is really good, but I can also make metal armor if I can start getting a forge going and stuff. So we'll have to see about that. All right, let's go ahead and do some building. One, two, three... And we'll build this one. I don't know. I don't really know if it matters which one I build. We're going five by five, bruh. Doesn't matter. Just freaking pump it in there somewhere. Why? Why isn't it putting it in there? Oh, I put down the wrong frame. Okay. Well, fair enough. I put down a regular frame. I don't think so. I don't have the wood for that. Are you serious? No. 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 Don't. No, absolutely not. All right, guys. So the problem with this was, um, after using my expert powers of deduction, <laughs> that this one right here was not finished. So you can't place one here if this one's not finished. It, this one not being finished was blocking the placement, right? So as you can see right here, now I can place it, okay? And I shouldn't be able to place this one. Oh, I can place this one. See, the, the rules are a little weird. Um, but sometimes if like something's not finished, that will block the placement of other items. Okay. So let's see where we can place these. Okay. So we can place one there and yeah, this should be able to go five by five. Now, I can't place one there. See, I could place one over here. Um, even though this one wasn't finished, but I can't place one here. And I'm assuming the reason I can't place one there is because this one is not finished. Oh, man, the building in this game gives me anxiety attacks. Anyway, guys, I think I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Okay, so um, I'm going to stick with this a little bit longer. There, there. I want to finish this one just to see if I can place the other one. A little bit of an extended outro here for the super fans. Okay, the super fans of the people stay here till the end. Till the bitter end. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think we have enough rope. Yeah, we don't have enough rope, so... Three, four. Alright, super fans, here we go. Now, can I place one right here? Let's see. Alright, so how, how high... So that's already three. So we gotta be able to place two more to make the 5x5 five five I want to. We could definitely place it there, which is awesome. And we can definitely place there. Yeah, we're looking good. Now, if I could just place one more out here, it might be a little bit tricky here on the corner. You know, the way this slopes down, we'll just kind of have to work with it. But, you know, so far so good, guys. All right, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.